everyone, my name is Chloe and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. So if you have not seen one of these videos, um, what I did is at the beginning of the year I asked my sister to wrap up 24 books that made her think of me or that she wanted me to try to read. And now my sister and I have very similar reading tastes. However, she told me that most of these books she has not read and she just kind of wanted to see what I thought about them or um, just... They'd caught her eye for whatever reason. So most of these she has not read. So that doesn't really matter if our tastes are the same, except I feel like she knows my taste pretty well. I have done this the past two years um, as well in 2021 and 2022, but I had my mom pick and my mom and I read very differently. And so um, those years were kind of a miss in general. And so we're, we're just on an experiment to see if this year is any different. So um, both year, all three years have gotten me out of my comfort zone just a little bit. My sister a little less so but that's okay it's been great and um so this video will be a little bit of an unboxing unwrapping a little bit of a book review a little bit of a vlog with a blast from the past because as i am filming this it is april 21st so spring has sprung except um we live in the midwest and you can get every season in for sure a week but definitely like even a day we have been having really, really cold mornings followed by really, really warm afternoons. And right now it was like 80 one day and then 50 the next. And so it is just everywhere. It is kind of cold. Um, right now. Uh, you guys are probably seeing boxes here in the background. Um, my daughter's birthday is June 12th and I start buying stuff in March and April just because um, I get I find deals or whatever. There is a, somebody called Sunflower Steals that does deals in Kansas. So if you are a Kansas viewer and you are on Instagram or Facebook and you're not following her, I mean, I would say definitely do, but also like it is dangerous for my wallet because I'll see all these deals and I will buy things early, but I do birthdays pretty minimal, and um, and so I get a few like kind of big things. And hers being in the summer is so great because like we got a trampoline for super cheap, um, and so it's been like hiding, and then um, a scooter and rollerblades, like all the outdoor things, is what we're getting her for her birthday. And so that's what some of these boxes are. And I want to know: Are you guys like early shoppers, or do you wait till kind of the last minute? She will be turning three, and so she like I know would like anything, um, but I love shopping and. And I love getting it done early. So that is really what's going on. Um, nothing else is going on. I have my first like physical today from like a GP, not um, an OB or anything because I have been either pregnant or in, under the care of an OB for <laughs> like the past five and a half years. And now I'm um, eight months postpartum. And so my OB doesn't want like doesn't want to do, ha you know, manage anything. And so I am going to a GP for the first time. So little nervous, uh, not looking forward to it. I don't love going to the doctor, but it's, it needs to be done. So that's what's going on today. It's Friday. My parents are up here, so they are out um, walking around with the girls, which means like I should be mass filming because it's actually quiet in here, but um, I'm just going to film this and then go work out and just enjoy um, my hour before I have to go to the doctor. So Let's open this up. Three minutes of chat. Let's see what this is. So um, you'll notice it's a different wrapping paper because the last three, I think, have all been Christian fiction. And I'm wondering if she like bought them. Like I know the first 12 she bought together and the second 12 she brought, bought together. And so I'm wondering, like I just want to make sure I'm getting something different. So I'm switching to the second batch and we'll see what this is. I'm going to laugh hysterically if this is Christian fiction. Um, okay. So it's light blue. That's what I'm seeing. I'll show you guys the cover first. Interesting. The people we hate at the wedding? I have never heard of this. So let's see. Grant Ginder. So this is written by a man. There is a, a male picture on the back. Um, and it... it has a sticker over it so I can't see but it's blurbed by Ellen Hildebrand on the back um so it says relationships are awful they'll kill you um they'll kill you right up to the point where they start saving your life Paul and Alice's half-sister Eloise is getting married in London there will be fancy hotels dinners at it restaurants and a reception at a country estate complete with tea lights and embroidered cloth napkins Paul and Alice couldn't hate it more at this less than perfect family gathers, as this less than perfect family gathers together and Eloise's walk down the aisle approaches, Grant Gender brings to vivid, hilarious life the complicated ways we hate the ones that we love the most. So this sounds really interesting. Um, I'm like, I don't typically see 
men writing like chiclet, which is what this sounds like. So I wonder if this is actually chiclet or if it like takes a sinister twist. Um, it's only 324 pages. So we'll see. I am reading a book now um, that's not about weddings necessarily, but it is in London and there's a wedding in it. So I might wait a minute to read this. Also, Elephant in the Room. Um, it's like a week later or something from when I unboxed the last one and um, I'm wearing the same shirt just by coincidence. And I thought like, maybe I'll go change my shirt. So I'm not wearing the exact same thing, but I didn't. So sorry, I promise it's clean and it's different time. You can tell by my hair, it's different time, I guess. But um, okay. We'll see what we think about this one. I'm really intrigued and I would not have probably picked this up. And now an original movie on Prime Video. I have Prime Video. Will I watch it? Probably not, but if I do, I'll include it in this vlog. So that's it. We'll check in in a little bit. Hey everyone. So this will be a nice quick clip um, because I'm DNFing this book, you guys. I um, got about 45% of the way through and it like so let me preface this by saying it has like a two point something rating on goodreads and so i text my sister i was like uh oh i'm scared um and she was like whoa but it is so this book was a supposed to be kind of like a, a comedic take on family dysfunction like there's a lot of dysfunction in the family because um the our two main characters are a brother and sister and their older sister is getting married and she has a different dad and she was raised in a very well like with a very wealthy father and theirs was not and so there's a lot of like uh resentment there and just family dynamics and it all revolves around this older sister's wedding um so like all these family dynamics are having to be confronted but what was supposed to be funny to me just came off as like hostile and crude and after 40 percent, i was just tired of it it was the same thing over and over nothing was happening and it was just this um sense of humor that wasn't mine if like i said it felt very like hostile rude resentful um snarky just not not in an entertaining way so bummer on that one we'll see you tomorrow thank you so much for watching <laughs>